Hi guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, tonight I'm down at Soy 7. Now quite a few of you have been writing into me and asking me what's Soy 7 like? So I thought, well, let's take the advantage of being out this evening and let's have a look and see what is or probably isn't happening along this soy. Uh, sadly, this soy is destined to become a hotel and restaurant soy if uh, things don't improve. And I think when we go up there, you're gonna see for yourself that there really is uh, not a lot going on, unfortunately, and the future doesn't look very good for this soy. So I don't know, but anyway, for uh, old time's sake, I thought, well, let's have a look up there. Let's see what places you do remember when you were here on holiday and when you were having your fun. And uh, please, you know, drop out any comments below as to any places you love down this soy. What was your favorite place to go to down here on Soy 7? And uh, let's see, maybe it's still going, uh, or maybe it's sadly one of the ones that have definitely gone for good and may never ever return. So, uh, all right, well, that's enough for me. Let's turn around, let's go walk up Soy 7. And please, like I said, drop your comment. Where was your favorite place here in Soy 7? All right, let's go take a look. Okay, so I'm guessing, rightly or wrongly, but certainly for myself, I'm guessing one of your favorite places had to be this place on the corner, the lovely corner bar. Now that was a great place. I used to love sitting there of an evening and also early afternoon. It's a fantastic place because right opposite here, if I spin around, you can see there's all the beach and everything. So it's a great place to hang out in the afternoons and watch the world go by. Um, but anyway, so that was uh, definitely one of my favorites. But let's have a look up here and let's see what's going on. And as I say, you know, in all honesty, I'm not really expecting a great deal, to be fair. Hopefully I'm wrong, but uh, we'll see. Let's have a look and see what's going on. All right, let's just make sure I don't get run over. Now this place here, Black Angels. Um, not a bar I've spent a lot of time in. I can't put the camera in because there's a customer in there. Um, but there's, there's a black gun. You're not on the video, don't worry. So, um, pardon? I'm not taking your video, come and look. I haven't taken your video. I put the camera that way. Okay, there you go, see exactly what I'm saying about people, they just don't understand. But never mind. Never mind. Oh, I deliberately don't put it in anywhere. I never do that. Oh yeah, but I never put it in, never. Never ever do it, so. Anyway, not to worry. Unless it's funny based. Yeah. If, if people ask me, then fine, but I always deliberately swerve away. So it's like, now you're going to walk in front of me, like you'll be, your back will be on the camera. Is that uh, okay? Good, is that okay? Well, of course it is. You just have to be always All right. on the camera. Well, I'll let you walk ahead in distance. That's it. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. All right. So there we go. So let's keep walking up. So that was a, a nice warm reception from uh, the Black Angels bar. Up to them. But you can see here like all these beer bars back in the day they used to be so so busy really really busy but unfortunately now that's not the case which is a real shame because you know if you go back to when like Songkran was here oh soy 7 and soy 8 Songkran used to be horrifically busy you know you couldn't these all these bars here were just packed and rammed there was so much going on it really was incredible all right, so let's keep walking. Now, there is a little bit of life. Not a great deal, sadly, but there is a little bit of life. But uh, some of these bars here, you know, they're open. Hello, hello. I, I, I can't, I, I can put you on the video. Would you like to be on the video? <laughs> so, you know, some of the bars here showing signs of life. But again, you know, there's just nobody here. It really is such a shame. Such a shame. All right, let's head on up. Keep going. Oh, so far I've lived to tell the tale. That was good. Deary me. And the irony of it is, the woman that was shouting at me back then about, don't put me on camera, one of the girls that works in a bar, well... If I put her on camera, not that we did anyway, but if we did, is that not a positive in terms of like getting us some customers, potentially? And if she doesn't, you know, she has a, a boyfriend or whatever and can't be on camera, which I understand, well then just turn you back. You know, it's, it's not rocket science, is it? Anyway, doesn't matter, whatever. Hello darling, how are you? How are you? Oh, I've got to keep going, so I make video, make video. 
Gossip Girl. Yeah, make me know. So Gossip Girl. Now this back in the day was so busy, so so busy. Hello. But uh, as you can see, so Soy Seven. Here we are in the evening. Where in the uh, back in the day when this was busy, where was your go-to location in Soy Seven? I didn't really used to come down Soy Seven a lot, to be honest with you. And uh, not because I don't like it down there. The only time I really came down here was during Songkran. Songkran, it was just rammed. Soy 7 and Soy 8 were just awesome. Absolutely awesome. You can see here, you know, two back in the day, very popular places. I mean, I have to laugh at this, you know. Look, look at the name now. The Big and Whistle. <laughs> it used to be called The Pig and Whistle. So whoever's taking it over, I mean, seriously? just changing the P to a B. Really, is that how it works? I don't know. Anyway, up to them. And uh, here you got Roses. Roses, again, used to be very, very popular. And also, as we walk up here, just here on the corner, and uh, again, another, what used to be very, very busy bar stroke restaurant. But as you can see now, it's gone. Well, not gone, but it's, there's nothing going on. It really is such a shame really is and often down some of these side soys here there was always bars i mean look if i put the camera down there you can see there just nothing going on and likewise on the other side here if i spin that round you know that there's nothing happening here it really is just on the bones of its backside now there's a tattoo studio here now actually i'll tell you what we could do we could cover this in this video because it will uh, help with the content I get asked quite a few times about tattooists here in the city centre and truthfully, even though I've got two full sleeves and a full back, I haven't had any work done here in the city. Now that's not because uh, of anything against any of the tattooists here, it's just because I had it done before I came out here. But guys, if you've been here and you have had any artwork done and you've had a tattoo, please, you know, help me out if you can recommend a tattooist that you've personally experienced please drop a comment below because truthfully I can't answer that question and I would hate to give somebody a, a tip and say oh yeah this place is good and having not actually been in there myself because you know I like to at least give you first-hand information as opposed to uh, just names I pulled out of a hat so uh, if you have had a tattoo please you know share that information where would you recommend, where's a good place to have a tattoo done? Let's just move out of the way, the taxi man's coming. Okay, let's keep heading up. We're near at the end now, almost on second road. Which is a shame, you know, so many places. And I guess in your comments, I'm sure a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of you guys will be shouting this place out here. Shooters. You know, I've got some uh, friends I know love this place. And to be honest with you, it used to be really good. I mean, I've been in a few times, but uh, it used to be very, very good. A lot of uh, good looking women, uh, you know, they see these uh, buckets of beer and all these kind of different promotions. It really was what I would call a, uh, a good place to be if you want to get smashed and surround yourself by pretty girls. All right, well, that's it really. There's not a lot else to say, unfortunately, as you can see. Soy 7 is no more. Let's just spin back and look down. So there you go, guys. That's what it is right now, uh, sadly. And uh, there's no other way of saying it, but it is really desolate. So unfortunately, if you do have memories of coming down this soy, I would cling on to them because I would guess that that's probably going to be your last memory. All right, let's just turn the camera around and we're going to finish off. All right, guys, so there we go. So, <laughs> That was an eventful walk, wasn't it? I should be start charging danger money. I mean, I mean, she nearly attacked me, for goodness sake. And I didn't even put the camera in, as you can see. But anyway, not to I understand why she was worried, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, just another night in paradise, as they say. All right, guys, well, that's it from me. So thank you very much for watching. And those of you that have asked about Soy 7, I'm sorry it's not probably what you was hoping for or expecting. And yeah, it doesn't look very good. Um, but unfortunately that is what it is and you know we can't control that especially right now when you're not even allowed to come here which is uh, you know crazy 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 
All right, guys, so that's it for me today. Please remember hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. And don't forget to check out our buzzing members area. Um, speaking to more and more businesses, lots of businesses have said that uh, when you show them your digital ID card, which I'll be producing, that they will give you a discount of some description or other. So, and it's completely free for the, you know, for you to use, you just walk in and say, I'm a buzzing member and they'll give it to you, they'll give you the, the uh, discount. So it's not too bad, is it? You know, it helps, it hel every little bit helps. All right guys, so please, yeah, check out our members area and don't forget, join our Telegram group. We've got so many people on there. It really, really is fantastic. So please join in the fun and you can join the group and also the photo group where I share up-to-date photos of all the girls that are working here in the city center right now. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the abuse that I got, if nothing else. And uh, that was the highlight of Soy 7 here in Patea City. All right, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. And please, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.